Arsenal Fan TV down there at Wembley. We're sitting where all the Arsenal fans will be sat on the game. Um, look, they've laid out these flags. This is what you're going to get. They've laid out these flags on every seat. Over there as well, they've laid out a load of um, Chelsea flags. I think Arsenal as well apparently are going to be doing it. Remember, do, you remember, do you remember when we done that semi-final against United in the Champions League? And after about 10 minutes, we had all these flags like this. I mean, after about 10 minutes, all the flags went flying on the floor. Why would you have to go and spin? Know, I'm, just, I'm trying to build a vibe. I'm, I'm trying to get saying, people excited. And hey, you got to put a dampener on it right oh, away. Yeah. Apparently as well, Arsenal are going to be doing... Uh, remember they gave everyone those scarves a couple of years ago? Oh, the, right, yeah. Remember those? I've still got my one. That, that was a nice touch by Arsenal. Apparently, I think they're going to be doing that as well. So, listen, it's building. The atmosphere is really building. Um, looking forward to the game. We got any chance, Claude? Do you know what? I mean, after last uh, last week, I've had a good think about it this week, and I've, I actually believe we can win it. Uh, you yeah. Know, but you can't because I, there's not many people saying what you're no, saying. Why? No, I will tell you why. Because one of the reasons is I, I think the intensity of Chelsea's game towards the end of the season, because they've already won the league, has dropped, which mm. is natural. And I think they might find it difficult to pick it up again. And what we're at the moment, we're on a run at the moment. Mm. Um, and plus, I think we will want it more as well. On I know, they, I know they're going for the double. Going for the double, remember the double, the winning the double and doing it, doing it by. I know they're going. For you, the you think about it, it's like a dream for Chelsea yeah. fans. You but know, they won the league over Tottenham, and then they do the double by doing the, it over us. They've also got the league in their hand, so they're in a. Uh, mm. No lose situation. If they, if they don't win it, they still got the champ. They've still won the league, which is the the main prize. You know what I'm saying? But I think we'll want it more. I think we will want it more. And I think, as you said, as I said, that I think that intensity. I mean, it was dropping against. Uh, I think the Watford game. You can see that intensity, and that's natural because they've already won the league. You know, mm. and and it's very difficult to pick that up again. And I wonder on Saturday with everyone expecting us, we've got nothing. To, uh, everyone is expecting us to just roll mm. over. Like the Man City game, I wonder where we're going to get a surprise and we're going to, I've, I've got a funny feeling we're going to win it on Saturday. You know what, the thing is about it is that I've been quite surprised at just how much people have written us off. Like, almost like you've got no chance. And I'm like, we've got a very good pedigree mm. in the FA Cup. That's one thing you can say. That's right, right exactly. And it's a one-off game. I mean, anything can happen in 90 minutes. I go back to, I'm, I'm showing my age now, Leeds, Leeds Sunderland. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Liverpool, Wimbledon. I mean, Man City, Wigan. Yeah, exactly. So and the, Portsmouth when they won. And, and I think we're just a little bit closer than, than to Chelsea mm. than what those teams were at the time. So anyway, uh, look, I'm quite optimistic about. I'm really optimistic about Saturday. Mm. What about um, the defence though? I mean, you know, no I Koscielny. Th I, th I think just, I think Mustafi will play. I think mm. uh, I think it's concussion. I think by then, I think hopefully that two weeks it should be. Mm. He should be okay, shouldn't he? I mean, I think if if not, I think what he might do, I think because I think there's a doubt about Gibbs, he might switch Chamberlain to left left uh, wing back. Wing back. I mm. think that what he should do. We've got to keep that three. Whatever happens, we can't go four. Mm. We've got to keep what we've been successful mm. at and play Bellerin, which he's been playing really well mm. towards the end because he, he would have had a hard choice anyway. Mm. With Bellerin and Chamberlain, so you yeah. can play them both. Yeah. So I don't think all that will really affect as much on on that on that front. Okay. Okay. But, um, it's going to be tough though. But how do we contain their guys though? You know, the obviously the defence are going to have their work cut out with Costa, and then there's Hazard. He absolutely tore us apart in the last game. How do we lock him off? <laughs> well, that's that's the point. That's, <laughs> that's another one. Yeah, no, look, look, Robbie, we've got, we've got, like we did on against Man City, we got yeah. stuck into Silva, we got him off off the pitch, didn't we? Mm. <laughs> we got stuck into Aguero, he went off, we've got to do the same again, mm. you know, be a bit more clever about it and don't get booked or get, but we've got to, get, we've got to do exactly the same on, we've got to have that approach that we had against Man City, mm. although it would be a different game because Man City are a bit more open, but I I really do feel it, I feel, I, th I was thinking about it at the week and I think they I can't see them that intensity they, mm. they, they've had all season. Just coming back for that for one game, I just mm. got a feel it's going to be difficult. But I've, I've got a real good feeling about it on Saturday. And you're going to, you're quite surprised, aren't you? And if we win the FA Cup, and the manager, 
no, decides at the end <laughs> at the end of that signs that's a new another thing um i think there'll be a nice way for him to to leave i think uh fa case will be the record breaker in the fa Cup. what a way to go what a way to finish but we have to go we have to move on I mean, if he doesn't if he doesn't we're gonna have to we have to gonna have to deal with it but uh, I think I think it's the best way would would be for him to go after the, after winning the FA Cup, unless you know, because whatever happens, even if we win on on Saturday, I think we've got, there's a lot of work to be done. There's in a lot we, we could lose Alexis, we could lose Ozil, we're going to have to replace him. I think whatever happens on Saturday, I think there's going to be maybe a couple of years where we um, we might have to suffer a bit because uh, because whether we win the FA Cup or don't win it, so. But it would be nice to win it on Saturday. I like win. I mean, don't you get that lovely feeling of winning the mm. FA Cup? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's all set up for it. But apparently, the weather's going to be nice and everything. Claude's prediction. You know, I'm going to go. I'm going to go two-one Arsenal. There you go. Claude's going two-one Arsenal. We're getting ready for it. Looking forward to it. We've got the flags ready. <laughs> like that it. Let's hope we're still holding them up and not doing what we've done against <laughs> Man United. Come on, Arsenal! <laughs>